One time I did a record date with Buck Clayton, who was a really, a really, really wonderful friend of mine, Buck Clayton. And I haven't talked about him, but but um, he had a he had a series of records called uh, Jazz Party, and I was on one of his records. And I always remember uh, we, we were playing something, and Errol Warren played played a solo, <coughs> and he stood up. And in the middle of his solo, he stopped and he said, I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming, because the rhythm section was so wonderful yeah. and the swing was so intense that he just stopped playing and said, I'm dreaming. <laughs> Cannonball Adderley is a fantastic player and he has this, this absolutely exuberant sound from, from, from the alto. It's a wonderful sound. Yeah. 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 And he was a very, very astute, articulate man very well read and very well spoken and, and really a, a really well educated man. I loved him. I loved his playing. He was a great saxophone player. And if you listen to the, the Miles Davis sextet records mm -hmm. and, and, and listen to the, the interplay with Cannonball and John Coltrane, it's absolutely fascinating how they play together. The kind of swing that I like is the swing that's generated by Red Garland, Paul Chambers, and Philly Joe Jones. To me, that was the, the greatest rhythm section I ever heard. I, I call that Miles' golden period, yeah. yeah. I thought at one time, I thought um, I, I might move back to Scotland. And I, I tried that, I went back and played. And you know, I was in Scotland and I was living with my sister in, uh, in this little town, 20 miles northeast of Edinburgh. And my friends and I, were, you know, we went to different golf courses every day. And we played a lot at St. Andrews at the old course, which was fantastic. And um, I thought, this is great. I, you know, I can't, I, can't, I can't go back to New York. But after two or three weeks, the thing that I missed about, you know, most of all, was not being with the musicians in New York because I was used to being with musicians all the time. And uh, that's what I missed most of all. And I thought, I gotta go back to New York. This is, uh, <laughs> this, this is very nice, you know, and the pressure is off, but I have to go back where the, you know, where the pressure is on and, uh, and, and I meet and see all my friends and, and play with all my friends.